Hi guys, my name is Christina Fenner and I'm 20 years old. I'm a student at SUNY Canton and I'm getting my four-year degree in graphic and multimedia design. I am also pursuing to be a professional photographer and I have even set up my own freelance photography business right here in Canton, New York. I know my chosen career path is pretty far-fetched. The photography business can be pretty competitive, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes to succeed. I became seriously interested in photography in 2010. It was my senior year of high school and had just gotten my first DSLR camera. And my friend Emily, she asked me, do you think you could do my senior pictures? And I said, well, I can give it my best shot. So I got Emily's pictures done and I got them back to her and her family and they really liked them. Emily wanted to use one of them in the yearbook and her parents wanted to hang some of them on their walls, which I thought was awesome. Um, I was really happy that somebody else besides myself likes my pictures. The big shock came when they actually paid me, which I was not expecting. You know, I thought it was really cool that I could possibly make money doing something that I love, and that's really where it all started. Social media is an incredible thing. I have to credit a lot of my success to Facebook. Once I posted Emily's pictures on there, then all of a sudden I had other friends and other people messaging me, asking me, did you do my pictures or, you know, what do you charge and all that. And it was a little overwhelming at first, especially because I felt awkward about charging people because it really didn't feel like work to me. So that first year I spent a lot of time with my camera, taking a lot of pictures and building my skills. I took pictures of all sorts of different things and all sorts of different people and before long I was asked to do my first wedding. In the fall of 2011 I was asked to do my first wedding. As you can imagine I was pretty nervous. I explained to the bride that I had never done a wedding before, but I was more than willing to give it a shot. Thankfully, she hired me, and we went from there. I must have done something right, because that spring I was hired to do my second wedding, and ever since I have been booking weddings regularly. I met Greg Kai my sophomore year of college. I was in his photojournalism class, and I was really nervous because photojournalism really isn't my style of photography. Um, I'm a control freak, so I like to be able to pose my people and control the lighting and control the environment as much as possible. And photojournalism, all that goes out the window. Um, so I was really nervous that he wasn't going to like my style or I wasn't going to do very good in his class. However, I was wrong. I got an A in his class and that summer he actually asked me to come to a wedding that he was shooting and be his assistant. I was very excited and I thought, you know, this is a great opportunity. Hi, I'm Greg Kai. I'm SUNY Canton's Media Relations Manager and Photographer. Uh, I met Christina Fenner in a class I was teaching, an advanced photography class, and I asked her to help me shoot a wedding because she's a very good portrait photographer and she's very good at working with people. So we shot our first wedding together, I believe it was with Courtney and Judd Foote, 
And after that, we decided that we were going to shoot every wedding together. And so far, it's worked out really, really well. Um, I tend to shoot on my Nikon with a very wide angle lens, and she tends to shoot tighter with something like this, the 70 to 200 telephoto lens. So it gives us two very unique perspectives. And then alternately, if I'm shooting wide, she'll be shooting tight. And we've worked this out where we actually talk to each other via hand signals during the wedding so we don't disrupt the wedding to show each other what we're doing. Um, so far we've shot about a dozen weddings together, between 12 and 24 weddings together, and 12 to 24 satisfied couples. I'm really thankful that Greg gave me that opportunity to assist him on the first wedding and now he's officially my business partner. I'm still very humbled when I get asked to do wedding photos. That's someone's special day and it's an honor to be asked to be a part of it. It's been such an honor and such a blessing to be a part of these special days. Despite the stress and the high intensity, I absolutely love it. I've come to find out that being a wedding photographer doesn't only mean just taking pictures. You almost become kind of their assistant for the day. Whether that's doing some running around or helping some girls with their hair. Or even helping the bride lace up her dress. But at the end of the day, it's totally worth it. Because there isn't anything better than seeing a bride see her wedding photos for the first time. And, of course, I'm always excited to see what the bride and groom's first taste of their wedding cake is going to be like. That's always fun. I was born in Romania and adopted when I was 18 months old. At the very beginning, me and my dad have always been very close, and he's always been my biggest supporter. I'm sure if I said I wanted to be an astronaut, he would have sent me to the NASA space camp. When I was younger, I wanted to do a lot of different things with my life. At one point, I wanted to be a veterinarian, so we had like 15 hamsters and a bunch of cats. My parents have always encouraged me to just do what I wanted career-wise, and I knew that whatever I chose, they would definitely support me. For me, photography is a lot more than just taking pictures. It's getting to know people and getting to celebrate their most special times with them. I do photos of just about everything, from maternity and newborns, seniors and families, sometimes pets, couples or engagements, weddings, and just about anything else you want photos taken of. Most of the time when doing my shoots, I work outside using natural light, and I take a lot of pride in being able to just use what's out there and make it look good. And even if I never make it, working for a big, well-known photography company, I will without a doubt open up my own small photography studio right here where it all started. Today I'm doing a photo order with Vanessa. I did pictures of her and her boyfriend and her boyfriend's daughter, Mackenzie. So her and Mackenzie will be coming over today to review their pictures. Christina did our pictures for Christmas cards this year. Are you playing peekaboo in there? Yes. You were? Dad, I'm swinging as I sing. We were swinging.
Today I'm meeting with Jordan and Joel. They hired me a couple months ago to do their engagement photos. And they have now hired Greg and I to do their wedding photos next Saturday. So we will be meeting with them today to go over final wedding details. Okay, so we have 22 in the wedding party. And what's your timeline? What time does everything start? Yeah, we were talking about that in the car because we talked to the pastor and he said around 1 he wants the guys there. Okay. So 11, um, Greg will go, will meet the guys wherever they're getting ready and then he'll get, you know, a couple pictures of, um, you know, them getting ready or doing whatever. Um, and he'll get some uh, some shots of, you know, just Joel and then okay. Joel and his guys, you know, not too many because I know guys, you know, okay. At least the guy's making pictures so he understands how you feel. We are going to the salon at 9 and okay. then hopefully there from 9 to 11 and then my aunt's house in the Berg. Okay. So. When do you want me to come meet you guys? What time? I usually do. Whatever you want. <laughs> Typically we do, um, after the ceremony, we'll do, you know, family pictures. Because it is going to be cold out, you know. Yeah, so, it's almost only inside. Um, some of them, you know, inside the church. Um, and we have two strobes that we'll set on the side of, they'll be totally out of the way. Um, we set them up on the side and then we point them to the ceiling. So when we, fight and they're wirelessly connected, so like when we, you know, take a picture, the strobes will go off. So where do I go from here? Next year, being my senior year, I'm required to take an internship somewhere of my choice. I'm thinking about contacting Clark & Walker Photography based out of Albany. I'm a big fan of their work, and hopefully they'll give me a shot. Their work is not only beautiful, but it's also very inspiring. Their quality of work is what I one day aspire to achieve. I will then graduate in the spring of 2015. I take a lot of pride in what I've accomplished so far. It's been a long road and it's been pretty stressful. It's one of the most rewarding things I've done so far. So whether my career as a professional photographer ever kicks off, or it stays as a local business as it is now, I can honestly say that this has been a dream come true. There isn't anything more rewarding than seeing your work hanging on someone else's wall. I'm lucky that I found something that I'm so passionate about, and I'm blessed that I've been given the opportunities to pursue my dream at such a young age. I know that I've still got a lot to prove and some people might be skeptical. You know, she's so young and she doesn't even have her college degree yet. And that's fine. I mean, you can't really control what everybody thinks. I just let my work speak for itself and hopefully one day I'll change their minds. A very big thank you to Greg Kai. I don't know where I would be without him. And a big thank you to everyone who has hired me to do their pictures. I wouldn't have been able to get this far without you guys.